Hello, I'm Stefania. I'm here to show you the Solovation of the Specials. To play solo, set up the game as you would for a two-player game, with the following adjustments. Place your player board on its solo side. Do the same with the recruitment board and place one random first bank token and one random first jewelry token. They will only be used as trackers. Replace the 12 informant cards with 12 corruption cards. Do not place any token on the continents and Las Vegas boards. Form a token supply with the 6 dice prime tokens, all the asymmetric tokens and the 3 solo tokens. Form a pile with the rival gang signatures next to the board. As usual, you will start with one specialist card and one random skill token. Take the die corresponding to the specialist card and add it to the other two you have already rolled. Now I can start playing. I reveal four specialist cards, one corruption card and I roll three dice. Now I have to choose one die. In doing so, however, I must take into account the dice that will remain. The sum of these two dice will in fact have consequences. In particular, if the sum is 7, nothing will happen. If the sum is 6 or less, I will have to pay a bribe. If the sum is 8 or more, the rival gangs will perform a haste in the indicated cities. I take die 5 and leave the two dice whose sum is 7, so there are no consequences and I discard the corruption card. Now I can recruit a specialist. Using the effect on, of the player board, I modify the die, one that becomes a 2. I spend it and recruit the actress. Then I spend the die 1 to activate the actress and earn 2 equipments. Since I can't perform a haste, my turn is over. I discard the remaining specialist cards and I start a new turn. I reveal 4 specialist cards, 1 corruption card. I slide my dice on the board and I roll 3 new dice. I choose die 2. The sum of remaining dice is 6, so rival gangs perform a haste in the Casino of London, in the Bank of Lima, and in the richest jewelry of Singapore. Then I take the corruption card and keep it on the rivalry side until the end of the game. If I accumulate 5 corruption cards on this side, I will automatically lose the game. Similarly, if I accumulate 7 corruption cards on the bribe side, I will lose the game. Now I spend the die 2 to recruit an actress. I modify the die 3 into 4, and I spend it to activate the actress and earn 4 equipments. With 2 accuracies and 1 hacker skill token, I can perform a haste in Paris. I discard the two equipments and the skill token, and put my signature gang token on the Bank of Paris. I earn 5 millions and take the bank token by earning the corresponding bonus. The game continues this way and will end when I have performed my 7th haste or at the end of the 12th round. The game may end earlier if I accumulate 7 corruption cards on the bribe side, or 5 corruption cards on the rivalry side. In these last cases, I have lost and my millions go up in smoke. Next time, I'll be better. Now, it's your turn!